How's it going Fatal Family? In today's video it is SummerSlam attires as well as the SummerSlam arena. All the attires shown in the video are the most downloaded ones as well as the ones that are the most accurate. So let's get into it. The first one is a perfect updated Jey Uso, not only with his SummerSlam attire, but also all his updated tattoos. That's right, including updated hairline textures, updated tattoos on his chest, his side, and his back, updated beard, and updated body texture. This Jey Uso is the full package, the full up-to-date Jey Uso. Definitely download this one here by Soy El Roo. Use hashtag Jey Uso, SummerSlam, or Soy El Roo. Just use Soy El Roo and it should pop up. But it's a spot on attire, spot on updated Jey Uso. Good job to Soy El Roo. Next up, we have Seth Rollins, SummerSlam 2023. Hashtags are Seth Rollins, SummerSlam, and Finn Balor. This was uploaded by Andre Gaming. And this was definitely one of Seth Rollins' more colorful attires. I was actually a fan of it. And I thought that the match that Finn Balor and Seth Rollins put on was top notch. All the matches, honestly, in SummerSlam were fun to watch. Even the Ronda one. Although the gimmick match was a little a little cringe here and there. I think they should have just made it a fight pit match and it would have done a lot better. But uh, Seth Rollins and Finn Balor put on an absolute banger. And I believe this match was produced by Jamie Noble. I could be wrong though, but I believe it was produced by Jamie Noble. So good job, Jamie Noble. Download Seth Rollins SummerSlam attire by Andre Gaming. Next up, we have Ricochet's attire by Astro Twins. Use hashtags Ricochet, Logan Paul, and SummerSlam. And man, like I said, every match was a banger. And the fact that Logan Paul versus Ricochet started off SummerSlam, and I understand why, because Logan Paul wanted to make it in time for Jake Paul's boxing match. So it makes sense why they were going to start off SummerSlam. But man, did they start off SummerSlam with an absolute bang. Like instantly, these two were putting on a show. I was thoroughly entertained. They were hitting crazy spots. Logan Paul was working the crowd, amazing heel work, very arrogant. I loved it. The whole um, integration with Samantha at the end there was just top notch. Even Samantha's acting and, and crying when she was uh, announcing the winner. Man, that whole match was beautiful, and I loved the way it started off SummerSlam like that. Ricochet also had an amazing attire, so good job Astro Trends with his recreation. Next up, we have Bianca Belair's attire uploaded by Summer Street UK. Use hashtags Bianca Belair, EST, and SummerSlam. Big ups to Bianca Belair for winning the Women's World Heavyweight title. And um, that was short-lived, huh? That was very short-lived. I'm pretty sure she holds the record now for the longest reigning women's champion as well as the shortest reigning women's champion. So she holds both records now. Great match. I was actually surprised with the finish. Um, I, was, I was expecting Damien to actually cash in his uh, briefcase and not EO, and I thought EO was going to have a failed cash in, which leads me to believe that Damien is going to have a failed cash in now because EO had a successful one, of course. So if you want Bianca Belair's attire, which I also heard she bought it off Esty or Etsy for like 40 bucks, and then obviously EST'd it up herself because she does work on her own clothing. So I, I thought that was pretty funny if that's true. Go ahead and download her attire by Summer Street UK. Next up, we have Logan Paul's attire uploaded by Mac Del Capo. Use hashtags Logan Paul, SummerSlam, and Ricochet. Spot on attire, very accurate. I think the color is a little off, like the just the, the tint of the color is a little off. So you could always tweak that yourself or just keep it how it is. I personally would just keep it how it is, but just from a visual standpoint, the colors look a little off. Or maybe it's just the material that was used for the attire. Moving on, we have Charlotte Flair's attire uploaded by 2K Wrestling. Use hashtags Charlotte Flair and 2K Wrestling. Her attire definitely popped throughout the match. And I think this match, this triple threat match, was the only one that was a little, was probably on the weaker side besides the Ronda match. But regardless, like I said, I was thoroughly entertained throughout all these matches. Next up, we have Jimmy Uso's attire by Peyton Stooling. Use hashtag Jimmy Uso, Bloodline, and SummerSlam. And this is pretty much just Jimmy Uso's, you know, return look with the bandana and, and the sweater and all that stuff, you know. So it's it's a silly attire. If you want to use it, go ahead. Uh, I'm sure he'll actually debut his actual heel gear on SmackDown this Friday. And we'll get to see his updated gear. If he does have any updated gear. Because he he is heel. He's going to have to have a new theme song. It's not going to be the Uso song anymore. So I'm very curious to see the direction they're going to take Jimmy. I really hope from what WWE tweeted themselves, I really hope he doesn't actually acknowledge Roman and it's just a, and that's just a, a red herring and he's actually going to say that he doesn't acknowledge Roman and he he was just doing it because he didn't want Jay to be head of the table or something like that, right? I really hope he doesn't just go back to Roman. So we'll see what happens to SmackDown. I'm very curious what happens to SmackDown. Next, we have Austin Theory. You know, Austin Theory was in that battle royale. This attire was also created by Astro Twins. Use the hashtag Austin Theory, Santos Escobar, and SummerSlam. And it's a spot on Austin Theory attire. Next up, we have the new women's world champion, and that is EO Sky. Uploaded by Blaze EST. Hashtags are EO Sky, Damage Control, and SummerSlam. 
Blaze EST is the creator name. Damn, that must have stung seeing Bianca lose right after, huh? Blaze EST created a really good EO Sky attire. Spot on. Good job, Blaze. Next up, we have LA Knights attire by Sushi WWE, the winner of the Battle Royale, and actually the person I predicted was gonna win the Battle Royale because if they did not make him win the Battle Royale, what are they doing? This man had a huge pop when he won the Battle Royale. I'm so glad it wasn't on, like, I know we don't do pre-shows anymore, but I'm so glad that it, it was on the SummerSlam card and actually even wasn't the first match, so that was good. Um, man, the, the pop that LA Knight had and also this past Raw with the promo battle he had with The Miz, Although I think The Miz did win that promo battle because, you know, LA Knight did stumble on his words a bit there and, and The Miz was kind of cooking him. I think that LA Knight held his own really well. It wasn't like a complete, like, run over like John Cena and Austin Theory with, when, when they had a promo battle. But I feel like that Miz gave LA Knight like a slight, like a slight roast, you know, like a slight, slight roast thing there. Uh, but LA Knight held his own very well and that was a really good promo battle. I want to see more of that. I, I can't wait to see how, how his feud with Miz goes. Next up, we have AJ Styles' uh, attire from the Battle Royale, uploaded by Don Don. Uh, my boy Donovan. Use hashtags AJ Styles, SummerSlam, and Don Don. Moving on, we have Cody Rhodes' attire. Finally, someone recreated Cody Rhodes' attire in time for my attires video. Um, every time I make an attires video, Cody Rhodes' attire is like either not in it or it's like barely recreated. Uh, but this one here was uploaded by Game Vault and it was recreated perfectly. I love it. You know, the white, gold, and, and, and red looks so good. Uh, use hashtags Cody Rhodes, SummerSlam, or Game Vault. You can just use Game Vault and it will pop up. Next up, we have Ludwig Kaiser's attire as well as Giovanni Vinci's. You know, they're pretty much wearing like the same attires. Um, uploaded by Chameleon. Use hashtags Ludwig Kaiser, Imperium, SS23, and Chameleon for these two attires. Uh, again, these two uh, were in the Battle Royale. Next up, we have Gunther's attire uploaded by No Johns. Use hashtags No Johns, SummerSlam 2023, but you can just use No Johns to find it quicker. A spot on recreation. And this was the only match where the outcome actually surprised me, besides, of course, Jimmy returning and betraying Jay. Uh, but the actual outcome of the match surprised me because I was fully expecting Drew to be the winner here, considering how, you know, he got his new contract. And, and, and I, I was assuming that his new contract pretty much was going to guarantee him uh, winning this title but looking back at it i'm actually glad because now we have chad versus gunther and i just know that those two are going to put on a crazy match because chad has a sleeper build and, and because we know he can pretty much hold his own anything can happen in this match right could chad have an amazing singles run as an icy champion let me know in the comment section down below next up we have grayson waller's attire uploaded by chameleon air use hashtags grayson waller SummerSlam, and chameleon again you can just use chameleon and it will pop up a uh, spot on Grayson Waller pink cheetah print attire from his battle royale. I'm also looking forward to this potential Grayson Waller and Miz uh, tag team because uh, that whole tag team finisher they pulled off there was really cool. Next up, we have Drew McIntyre's attire uploaded by John Cena. Oh, damn. John Cena be out here creating attires. It's uploaded by John Cena, also known as Levi Gold. Use hashtags Drew McIntyre, SummerSlam, and Gunther. Next up, we have Ronda Rousey's attire uploaded by Iron Wolf Net. No one made Shayna's attire for some reason. I was very surprised about that, but we have a spot on perfect attire for Ronda Rousey here. And it might be her last attire because she might be done with WWE. Uh, hashtags are Ronda Rousey and SummerSlam. And I know because of her entrance, you can't really tell that her attire is um, accurate. I promise you it is. Here's an image of it. It is spot on. Next up, we have The Miz's attire uploaded by Chance C 2014 Use hashtags The Miz and SS23. And again, with The Miz's attire, it is accurate underneath it. I know you can't really see it with the entrance, but I promise it is accurate underneath it. And here's an image of it so you can see how accurate it is. Next up, we have Asuka's attire uploaded by Absolution Cause. Use hashtags Absolution Cause to download this Asuka. Spot on Asuka. The moveset was made by Wolfpack Prince. It is not an alt attire to Asuka, but, but knowing what's the status, he will probably collab with this Asuka and also make it an alt attire to Asuka in game. But if you want the attire, you can just copy and paste this attire onto your actual preferred Asuka. And boom, there you go. You have an updated Asuka that will be an alt to Asuka in game. And finally, we have probably my favorite attire out of all of them is Finn Balor's attire with the whole seven written on his shoulder. That's included here too. I know you can't really see it because his jacket is covering it, but I promise it is there. Here's a quick image of it to see how it looks like. It is uploaded by What's the Status in collaboration with Donovan Terby. Use hashtag Balor13Alt. And this will be an automatic alt attire to Finn Balor in game. It's a perfect recreation of Finn Balor's attire. Got the purple, white, and black Judgment Day pants. It's got the purple and white X on his pants. 
the beautiful white and purple Nike Nike high tops. Man, his whole tire was dripped out. I loved it. And also comes with the black jacket for his entrance gear. And finally, the actual SummerSlam Arena that I'm using was uploaded by Marty M. As you saw with some of the entrances, there will be clipping through the barricades, but that is because Marty M made an accurate curved entrance. Uh, so they do start off where the entrance curves. So they will be coming out of the barricade sometimes. But besides that, it is literally how SummerSlam 2023 looked like. In Motor City, use hashtags Marty M. And also the really cool thing about this arena is that uh, at the beginning of the ramp before it curves, the entrance video is actually playing on the screens there. So it looks really good with a lot of the entrances if you just ignore the slight clipping once in a while. And that right there are all the current SummerSlam attires that are out right now. If more are made, let me know in the comment section down below and I will add it to the pinned comment. Um, but in the meantime, that's everyone that was created. Go ahead and download the ones you enjoy. There was a lot of good attires this pay-per-view. And be sure to like the video, subscribe to Kitchens On, and I'll catch the next video. Fado Steven out. Peace.